Hello, welcome. Welcome to another INFJ Ramble. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, a cluttered mind is like a cluttered life. Is that is that how I should um, name this topic? I don't know. Um, anyways, I tried recording this video before and it shut off. I don't know why it did that. But, um, yeah, I think a clutter, a clutter free mind or a cluttered mind is equivalent. It's basically equivalent to like your environment and what you choose to participate in. You know, um, I was saying when I was younger, I was still, you know, figuring out life, trying to figure out like, um, what life was all about and, you know, in order to do that, you have to acquire experience, right? And so I know I dabbled into consumerism. And if you think about consumerism, I think it's liter literally an addiction. You know, especially somebody who is inclined to want to always consume something. And I've mentioned in other videos and I've mentioned in previous videos, but like consuming something is to take something in, you know, like take something in and think about it. When you eat, you're consuming, when you're listening to music, when you're like researching, when you're death scrolling on your phone, you're consuming, when you're, um, I don't know, going out and buying all these material things, you're consuming. So, you know, I was definitely, overindulging and over consuming um, a lot of things when I was younger which is I want to say a natural part of the process because you're still learning you're still gathering life experiences you're still experimenting you're still you know trying to explore all these different arenas of life you know and you're just trying to life life right but um, as I get older and maybe it does come with age I just realized that less is best you know like and your mind and your state of being and your wellness is definitely a product of your environment you know so it's just like depending on what you choose to consume you know whether it be food or material things or whatever you know that will definitely affect your quality of life and I, I mean, for me, this is common sensual, but I don't know if this is common sensual to most people. Um, and I figure I just make a video on it just to spread awareness, you know? So for me, it's like, um, as I get older, I, I like the simple things. I like the simple life. Um, I'm leaning more towards breaking the addiction of consumerism. I think I've been proactively doing that um, for some time, you know? And I'm constantly getting rid of things and I'm actually like living or striving towards minimalism, you know, it's just like, I don't need to overly consume anything. Just a few little things are, you know, enough to satiate me sometimes. Like for instance, I don't watch television. I don't watch, um, in fact, I, I don't really watch movies. I am very particular about the music I listen to the food I consume and I like I said in previous videos I barely eat um, in my surroundings I like to keep things simple and it's really interesting when there's less around you to process you can see things more clearly I don't know if you've noticed this but like for instance if you um have like a lot of clothes in your closet you know um, Hold on. I have to pause the video really quickly. Sorry about that. But like, for instance, if you have like a lot of things in your closet and, you know, it's just really hard to make a decision because there's just multiple items in there versus just having like either um, a few items in there or like I think Steve Jobs, he just chose to wore like Steve Jobs, the, um, the founder of Apple. <laughs> The Apple company, um, he would basically just have like, I think basic black shirts and pants in his closet so that he didn't waste too much of his mental energy, you know, figuring out what to wear. 
you know it's just like okay black shirt black pants done you see how like that just kind of cuts out so much of like mental energy that you would normally have to output in order to make a decision yeah so like if you have less things around you you don't have to use up so much mental energy to make decisions and then you can use the mental reserves to just kind of like you know put it towards more important things like for me like important things is like um you know self-improvement or ideas and um i want to say having objectives and then putting necessary action and effort towards my objectives you know like these are like things that i deem valuable and worthwhile and worth my time you know yeah so it's really interesting like if you look at like the structure of society how they've normalized a lot of unnormal things you know they they almost have programmed people that you know to consume this to consume that to overly consume this to i mean if you look at every facet of life it's like they're like promoting that and it is a form of addiction you know whether you care to admit that or not it is addiction like if it's not in moderation it's addiction you know if it's one extreme or the other it is an addiction especially if you lack self-control you know what i mean or, or you lack self-discipline you know but that's the thing it's just like they're they're throwing all these things out there at you to to like um support the habit you know instead of saying hey you know buy this product in moderation or you know we're selling this product but is it necessarily good for you you know or if you make this decision like maybe practice self-discipline I mean, you know they're not putting that out there so people are completely unaware to the fact that you know self-discipline discipline and self-control is definitely necessary um to prevent moving into a place of addictive habits you know i don't know where this video is going honestly um less is best <laughs> um you are a product of your environment so if it's clutter free then you're probably clutter free and like literally you're free you're free <laughs> Um, if it's cluttered, um, then it's probably your mind is cluttered, you know, and that's why you can't think straight. Maybe you have anxiety, there's confusion, indec indecisive um, or indecision. Sorry, I can't speak straight today. You know, but like for me, it's like the more I clean out my space, the more you know everything else follows suit and I can see things clearly I can make decisions clearly um, I'm not wasting my time energy and attention on things that don't hold too much value to me you know um, yeah I don't know I don't know if my video made sense but if you learned something from it cool if you didn't learn anything that's cool too as per usual, I hope you are taking time for yourself and taking time to be present in this moment, you know? Yeah, have a beautiful day and blessings to one and all. Amen.